before bringing materials to site. For materials to be procured and installed on site, now the first point we should have to make sure that we take into due consideration, which is make sure the set supplier or vendor is approved. So the set supplier or vendor should be approved by the consultant prior for, for the set supplier to start bringing materials to site, which is very important. Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoka Enterprises. Today's lesson is going to focus more on how to carry out quality inspection on site, how to review different documents or submitters that are brought to you, and then prior to giving to the consultant, there are different things that you have to take into consideration before doing that. Good day, everyone. You're watching Makoka Enterprises. This video is for you. If you're working in the field, you might be working in electrical construction project, carrying out electrical installation works. Or probably you are working in a facility carrying out electrical maintenance, doing troubleshooting and all that. Um, you might be working as an electrician. You want to become a professional electrician in the field that you're working. This video is for you to become a professional electrician so you know exactly the different steps to follow as far as the different documents, as well as the different um, installation works are concerned. Or probably you want to become an inspector working in the field, carrying out inspection and following the different guides as far as I'm going to keep moving as far as the lesson is concerned. You want to work or probably you're working as a quality assurance and quality control engineer. This video is for you. And also you're working as an engineer on site. It might be project engineer, this video is also for you. So I'm going to give you the different steps and I will drive us through so we get to understand the different steps as far as carrying out inspection as well as reviewing documents are concerned. So the first thing which we are going to be discussing now is uh, material inspection. For sure, if you are carrying out a project, we need to, carry, we need to bring materials on site before doing the installation of the set materials. So before bringing materials to site, for materials to be procured and installed on site, number first point, we should have to make sure that we take into due consideration, which is make sure the set supplier or vendor is approved. So the set supplier or vendor should be approved by the consultant prior for, for the set supplier to start bringing materials to site, which is very important. And we also have different things to take into consideration before the supplier should bring any materials to site. So you, the supplier needs to submit a pre-qualification. So a pre-qualification is a document which will be brought by the supplier or the vendor, which you're going to bring to the consultant, to the, to the contractor, which the contractor is going to review and then give the set pre-qualification documents to the consultant for review and approval. So I have highlighted some steps, different steps that you need to follow and to make sure that they are strictly followed when you're reviewing your, the different pre-qualification for your different suppliers or vendors. This is very important. So the first part, which is uh, scope of work. So the supplier vendor is going to mention a different scope of work the different things that they are carrying out in the factory, which they are carrying out their production. The second, which is a company profile. So they are going to make mention or state their different company, the different company profiles. The third point, which is working organizational chart. So this is going to be divided into two different parts. We talk, we'll be talking of um, the, pro, the organizational chart from the supplier or the vendor side, and then organizational chart now for the different uh, uh, for the different workers that will be deployed for that particular project. The fourth point, which will be communication metrics. The fifth, curriculum VT. So for the curriculum VT, they are going to attach the different CVs for the different, um, for the different staffs that will be deployed for that particular project. This is very important so that you get to see if their roles and responsibilities as mentioned in the curriculum VT, they fit to the standard of that set project. And if these particular persons will be able to carry out the supplying of 
the different materials is very important. The sixth point is going to be list of equipment and machinery. The seventh point, which is the management policy. The eighth point, which is production and quality control procedure is very important. They are going to highlight the different algorithm on how they carry out their different um, production of their different items. And they highlight the steps, all the different steps on how they carry out the the manufacturing of the different items with quality, which is very important. The ninth point, which is municipal license. The third point is uh, health and safety environment. The eleventh point, which is uh, plan storage size, location, and photographs. So they attach the different photographs for their factory where the different materials are being produced. The 12th point, which is list of affiliated suppliers. The 13th point, major achievement, milestone revenue is very important. The 15th point, which is previous approval. So the previous approval, they are going to main, mention the different approvals that they've had in different projects, which they've supplied materials in different projects. So they will put the different front pages, which they've got approval for the different projects and then we move to the 16 point, which is general procedure and method statement. So the main mention the general procedures, which I discussed already, the syntax or the algorithm on how they carry out the process for the manufacturing of the different items. And then they'll highlight also on the method statement, the, the methodology on how they carry out certain steps as far as the production of the said items are concerned. So once the pre-qualification is submitted and approved, we will now move into the, you make sure material submittal for the set material should be approved. This is very important. So material submittal, I've made a video on material submittal. So if you go through my different videos, you are going to see the different steps on how to prepare a material submittal. But then I'm going to give an, a highlight on the different things that you're going to be looking at in a material submitter. The first part, which is uh, company profile. The second, which is uh, product data sheet. The third, which is ISO certificates, trade license and from local supplier, previous approval, latest quality test reports. This is very important. The quality test reports, you're going to mention the test reports in the material submitter for that set material. Material catalog this is very important. Bill of quantity, which will highlight all the different materials or the numbers of materials, as well as which are going to be uh, delivered to that particular project, which is based on the project specification. So the next is going to be related drawings and specification. Compliance sheet, this is very important. Supposing that you have a project and the client puts down certain requirements for that project and then also they are going to give you a set of drawings which from there you're going to know exactly what are the different items which we are going to procure in order to carry out the set installation for that particular project so the compliance sheet now is going to um, highlight all the different items as per the project specification and as per the client so the vendor or the supplier is going to put alternative materials if need be, and then give a reason for that so that we will also check and then to make sure that there is, there is no discrepancy in the different material, uh, materials or the different items, which is very important. The next point is country of origin. So the country of origin for that particular materials, which should, which should conform to the specification of the project. Warranty certificate, as per specification, vendor list, technical data sheet. So all these different steps or all these different items should be make, make sure you make sure that you check and ensure that they are all in place prior to submitting to the consultant for review and approval. This is very important. So once all that is done, we know the pre-qualification is being approved by the consultant. And they will move to the material submittal is approved as well by the consultant. So the next step now is going to be request for factory acceptance test. This is very important. 
which is a fat. So the reason why we are carrying out the fat test or the factory acceptance test is to ensure that the set materials are going to function as per the project specification. This is very important. And not all the different materials that you are going to carry out the fat test or the factory acceptance test. I'll give an example. Um, probably you have PVC conduits that should be brought to site, galvanized ions that should be brought on site. We have switches or wiring accessories or wiring devices. So all these different items might not necessarily go through the factory acceptance test. The major things that we took, take into consideration, we'll be talking of transformers, We'll be talking as well of generators that should be, we should carry our factory acceptance test prior to bringing to site. So we 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 have the full guarantee that the set material that is bring, that is being brought to site is of quality and conform to the requirement of the project and also the requirement of the the state as well. So we'll be talking of transformers, generators, LV panels, or low voltage panels. So all these different items will pass through factory acceptance test. We ensure that all the different things have been put in place. It conforms to the requirement. And then we can proceed now with procurement of the different materials, which is very important. So I will explain here that once the above is passed, all the different steps that we mentioned already, pre-qualification is okay. It's approved by the consultant. And material submit as well, as well is approved by the consultant. Then we move now to the factory acceptance test. So this is also approved by the consultant because what we do is for the fat test or the factory acceptance test, we will have to invite the consultant to come to the factory. So we will take the consultant to the factory alongside ourselves, it will either be a, a project engineer, um, an electrical inspector, or probably a quality assurance or quality control engineer. So you go to the factory alongside with the consultant to ensure that you take into consideration the different steps as per the project specification and as per what they've mentioned on the material submitters as well. So we go through all that before going to the FAT or the factory acceptance test. So they will run down different series of tests. So we ensure that the different values that they are getting conforms to what is written on the material submittal or as per the project specification, which is very important. So once materials are on site. So in this case now, all these different steps have been approved. Pre-qualification materials or metals and the factory acceptance test also is approved. So we'll now move into delivering the set materials to site. So once materials are on site, carry out material inspection by comparing the, deli the delivered material with the delivery note, which is a DN, also with reference to the approved materials of metal to ensure there is no discrepancy in the materials. This is very important. So once materials have been brought to site, after going through all the different steps, like I didn't mention, so we bring these materials to site. We don't just take the material and then start carrying out installation on site. No, it doesn't work that way for projects. So what you do is you carry out inspection for the set materials prior to carrying out installation of that material. So we will go to site, carry out pre-inspection as an inspector, as a quality assurance engineer, or as a site engineer, carry out inspection for the set material. So there are things that you take into consideration. You look at the delivery note, which is brought by the vendor to site after delivering the material. You go through the different materials, make sure that the different items, as well as the quantities, it all matches with what they brought on site. Look at the different tag numbers, references, and all that. Once that is satisfied, we now go through the materials of metal as well for the set materials for the different components. I'll give an example. You look at probably you bring an LV panel to site, which you've got the delivery note, you compare and everything is okay. Go through the materials of metal. Now start looking at key important aspects as an inspector or as, a, as an engineer working on site. So what you do is you look now the breaker size, which is very important, the incoming breaker, it could be maybe distribution board, submin distribution board, um, uh, socket outlets, wiring devices, um, GI conduits, PVC conduit. So you look into, take into consideration now the different parameters as mentioned in this material submitter. If it is um, for distribution board, you go through the incoming breaker and ensure that it matches with that in the material submitter. 
you go through the outgoing breakers as well to make sure that all the different uh, ampacity of the different breakers, the matches as per the material submitter, which is very important. So you go through all that, check the boss bar, check the fittings, check everything, everything is okay, check the dimension of the panel board, it conforms to that of in the material submitter. So once all that is okay, at that time now we can submit now the set material, the material inspection to the consultant for review and approval. This is very important. So once you submit now, the consultant now and the set engineer or the inspector, they are going to come to site to inspect the same material. So you're going to show them, okay, this is the material that will be brought on site, is the delivery node, and it conforms to this. You're going to answer certain questions that have been posed by the consultant. So you list with them and ensure that the same material should be approved. And because this is your role as working on site, so you ensure that the materials have been approved, list with them from time to time, you check with the consultant and ensure that the materials are all approved. This is very important as far as quality is concerned. Um, this video is just um, to give us a guide and to give us an understanding on how to carry out um, inspection and review of documents for material inspection. Prior to submitting the said material uh, inspection to the consultant for review and approval, this is very important. Like I mentioned, it's just a step which I've uh, put in place since I've been working in the field for quite some time and also I've managed to look at these different steps and the same which I've been following on site and I've achieved tremendous results when it comes to quality. So I believe I said I should share it out to others so that while you're carrying out or moving in the journey of electrical installation works, you should understand the different concept, which is very important. Today, you're watching Makoga Enterprises.